Hello. This time we're going to be talking about snake skin boots and how to know exactly what you're looking at. First of all, I apologize if I talk about something you already know. I wanted to include info for those who haven't dealt with these types of skins before. Now, let's say you find a pair of boots at a thrift store or a rod sale or something like that. You don't really have the guarantee of the authenticity or quality of the boots or anything like that. The first thing you need to know, of course, is if they're even real. If they are real, are they a good quality? Are they a good quality brand? And are they real snakeskin? And what you want to do is simply look inside the shaft and see if you can spot a maker's mark or a name. And you kind of have to decide, do your own research and see what kind of brands are acceptable for you. Now with that said, they don't necessarily have to be a good brand to be real exotic animal eye. And with that said, I also don't recommend a new pair of no-name exotic boots. Not only for questionable quality, but mainly because you don't you just don't know the, the origin of the, that particular animal's hide. You know what I mean? Was it illegally obtained? Was, was the animal poached? Now with a used pair of boots, that doesn't necessarily bother me as much. However it was obtained, it was obtained long ago. You can take care of these boots and you're not necessarily driving up the demand for more more hides. You're not necessarily driving up the, de the demand as you would if you bought a new pair of boots. At least with quality, well-known name brands, you can generally find out where the hides are coming from. Now, with all that out of the way, you want a pair of snakeskin boots. How can you tell? There are, of course, a lot of animal print designs and clothing and boots, especially snake, especially in boots. If you want the real deal, you have to look for scales. Not just the appearance of scales. I uh, think you can see this. Actual scales. Like you need to be able to get your fingernail up under there. You can hear it. You can feel it. You can see it. It's not just going to be flat like a lot of things you can see. If there are no scales, it may not be fake, but it could be lizard. Of course, lizards have scales too, but it's a relatively smoother surface. It may be bumpy and rough, but the scales don't come up. It's one, one solid hide. Still a great leather, but, but don't let somebody try to convince you you're, you're buying a snake when you're not. Because there can be quite a price difference between the two. Okay, so you found a pair of snakeskin boots. What kind are they? Chances are they're python. It's probably the most common one you'll see. It's the most common one I see. I've had a few pairs of them. The snakes themselves get huge. They're all over the place. There are plenty of them out there. It's just the most efficient leather, or the most efficient snake hide to use. Now this won't be every time, but the majority of the ones you see will have these big center scales. These are belly scales. And they'll use that for the, for the instep and the vamp. And then you'll have the other smaller scales for the rest of it. Now, of course, just like anything else, there are differences. You can buy a new $500 pair of boots, or you can buy a $200 pair. The more expensive ones will have nice, big, relatively matching sections of hide. And they'll kind of go in the same direction. You can get cheaper pairs that will have little scrap pieces. It can almost look like patchwork. And the scales will be all going in different directions. It's a real pain to clean and condition. Just something to keep in mind if you're haggling on a price with somebody and for the cleaning process, if you do get a pair like that, it's, it's supposed to be a fun thing to do or an enjoyable thing to do to take care of your eyes, your boots. Now you may be saying you found a pair of snake boots, but doesn't quite look like that. It looks a little different. What you could have is a more expensive pair like this. This is rattlesnake. Of course, you can try to look up the different colors and the markings of snake hides or skins or just snake pictures of snakes themselves uh, to try to figure out what kind of hide it is. But each snake is going to be a little different, of course. Also, the cut of the hide and the location.
limitation on the animal itself is going to make a can make it pretty difficult to figure that. I'm not going to get into other types or other species species of snakes or just different types of rattlesnakes, subspecies of rattlesnakes. Just because it would take forever. There's a lot out there, of course. I figure if you can figure out the species and if you can get a good price on them, you can pretty much go from there. You can figure it out on your on your own afterwards. What I will tell you is an easy trick to know if you have python boots or rattlesnake skin boots. Of course, you saw these. I'll just try to give you a better look. And if you can't see this, I'll try to put some pictures in. Just kind of get an idea of what the what the scales look like. I'll take a look at these. Obviously, it doesn't have the big belly scale. I don't think you'll ever see a pair of rattlesnake belly scales on a pair of boots. These are dorsal scales, pretty much the back and the sides of the snake, the animal itself. Now, on this rattlesnake, each one of these scales has a little line in the middle. Each scale itself, there's a line going through it, straight down the middle. These are called keeled scales. Think of the underside of some ships, uh, sailboats, they've got that line down the center of it, it's called the keel. That's it, basically flat scales, python. It's got a keel, it's got a line in the middle, it's a rattlesnake. After you figure that out, if you want, you can kind of check out online and figure out what kind of subspecies it is. These happen to be timber rattler, also known as a canebrake rattlesnake or a banded rattlesnake. They'll generally have this neat little zigzag or W pattern. Obviously, a diamondback will have those big diamond-shaped patterns. And they're a little more pricey, so they'll be... They'll usually go with the diamond shape instead of some other part. Now, going back to the direction of the scales, these are, these are nice. I had another pair, like I was saying, they went in all different directions. These, on both boot... On, on both boots, too. All the scales are going one. On this pair, they all go downwards on the sides. They go to the front so you can clean and condition it all in the same direction. You don't have to worry about pulling the scales back and tearing them. And on the back, they go towards the back and down. So it's, it's pretty nice. You don't want to have to worry about ruining your boots when you're just trying to take care of them. And these are kind of the same way, they all go to the front. But since it's a bigger snake, they could use a bigger part back here. This is all one piece, and it just goes in one direction. I had one pair where one was going towards the front, the other one was going towards the back. You always had to keep in mind where you're going. Pain in the ass. Well, I suppose that'll do for now. I appreciate you watching. If you I hope I gave you something helpful. If you have any suggestions or questions or otherwise, just leave a comment. Thank you, and take care.